Riktig god kveld. Nå skal dere få møte Neil Wild, en rock'n'roll-pianist som etter hvert har blitt veldig etterspørt i bransjen. Neil Wild er altså en rock'n'roll-pianist som etter hvert har gjort seg bemerket ikke bare i Norge, men også ellers i verden. Neil er oppvokst i Yorkshire i England, og som liten pjokk så gikk han konstant rundt med et munnspill i lommen, og han lærte seg også etter hvert å spille på det. Men som 13-åring så begynte han å synge og spille gitar i det lokale gospelbandet i den lokale kjerka i Yorkshire. Men etter en stund så fant Neil ut at han ville utfordre skjebnen enda mer. Han fikk etter hvert en viss tiltrekning til pianoet og til tangentene, og dette ville han lære seg å spille. Så Neil satt seg ned med pianokraken han og øvde i ti timer hver dag i seks måneder, til naboenes store frustrasjon. Han fikk såre fingertupper og såre stemmebånd, men han fikk lønn for strevet. For han ble spørt om å være med i Yorkshires mest etterspørte grupper på den tida. Han var med de i seks måneder, og så fant han ut at han ville starte sitt eget. De reiste da rundt på turné rundt i Europa, både i Tyskland, Danmark og Norge. Han har også tidligere vært i Stavanger, altså på selveste de røde sjøhus. Men Neil har ikke bare nøyt seg med det. Han har også vært i Dubai i Saudi-Arabia, der han turnerte med et band kalt The Show Waddy Waddy. Neil, tell us about your best memories from the good old days when you was in tour with this band. Uh, well, I'd known this band for many, many years, um, and it was kind of strange to actually be on tour with them. And uh, we had a fantastic time, beautiful hotels, swimming pools outside, lots of champagne, and yeah, it was very nice times. And after this, you started your solo career? That's correct, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, that tour actually made uh, made room for me to 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 be in a solo situation. It was very very good. Yeah. How how come that you find out you want to be on your own? Um, I played with bands for for ten twelve years uh, in England, different bands and mostly my own bands, but having a lot of problems with musicians and. Uh, decided that I wanted to be uh, solo. So. Mm -hmm. Does other musicians uh, got you stressed? <laughs> yeah, the, I got a lot of stress from musicians uh, not being there on time, uh, and drinking too much alcohol, taking too many drugs, and that wasn't what I, what I called being professional in this business. So it was better that, uh, that I was alone and I could be more professional, um, and that's how I feel that the, 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 the business is. It's a professional business, and you have to treat it like that. Mm -hmm. But Neil, before we go uh, any further, tell us about uh, that time when you met uh, Prince and Pris Princess of Wales. Oh, that yeah. Was a that special was special experience. <clears throat> that was 1982. It was just before they got married, and she really was beautiful then, and she really was beautiful. And he was, <clears throat> he was, he was the typical English gentleman. She was very polite, but she was doing everything he wanted her to do. And I guess, um, I guess in, nowadays it's not like that anymore. But uh, it it was it was very nice. And uh, in the newspaper the days after. They said that uh, you thought the princess was smashing. Yeah, I thought she married the wrong guy, actually. <laughs> actually, it should have been you. Well, I, I did offer, but she didn't take me up on that offer, so... But, Neil, you've uh, been in Norway for uh, quite a long time now. Mm -hmm. What uh, was happening before that? Uh, well, I've travelled to most places throughout Europe. Uh, and I've travelled over in the States and the Middle East, as we've said. But I, I think I left my heart here when I first came here. So I came back to pick up my heart, mm -hmm. and I'm still here. What did you like about it? It's just the best place in the world. Mm -hmm. People are very special, very, very nice, very nice people. Uh, the countryside, the nature is, is beautiful. Neil, you've uh, traveled a lot in uh, these uh, years. 
and uh, you also charmed a lot of people in Norway with your piano playing. But uh, you're also uh, playing with the other local musicians. Tell me about that. Yes, um, I have a bass player from Stavanger. His name is uh, Gunnar Engen. And uh, he plays with the regular band at, uh, should I say, it, Dickens. That's where he plays most Sunday nights. When he's not on tour with me, of course. And then uh, the multi-instrumentalist gentleman. Uh, his name is Rual Hustus. Uh, not only is he a fantastic musician, but he's, uh, he's uh, my very best friend. And he plays uh, guitar with the band. He also plays bass. And he plays drums. He plays everything. Uh, the drummer is the only person who is a foreigner. Because I live in Stavanger and Rual and Gunnar live in Stavanger. But David's a foreigner. He comes from the United States of Bergen. And uh, yeah, I think he's just about the best rock and roll drummer in, in the world. Yeah. It's nice to play with uh, local musicians. Yeah. They're lots of fun. It's great fun. Uh, I mean, they're beautiful people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful people. They don't drink too much. They don't take any drugs. Uh, they just like to get high on the music mm -hmm. and uh, of course we, that's what we all like to do. It's uh, most important to enjoy what you do. But don't you get tired of uh, touring lots of yeah. <laughs> do I look like I get tired? <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> uh, no, not really. Uh, the music keeps me feeling young and I hope it keeps me looking young. <laughs> it's. Uh, I just love doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And the viewers will uh, recognize that you uh, it's quite a showman. Well, I, I've been seen around now for, for many years. Even Norwegian people have seen me when they've been on holiday down in Spain and Gran Canaria. Um, so it's, it's a lot of people knows me and a lot of people know that I like to play the piano with my feet and with my elbows and mm. uh, as well as the fingers. People recognize you for your special touch. <laughs> I, have a, I have a style of my own. And you only like uh, 50, 60 and early 70 music? Uh, I, I like a little bit of everything, uh, but it's important that what I'm listening to means something. Mm. That's the most important thing. The text has to be nice text. Mm. So I prefer my own songs to anybody else's songs, but I do like 50s and 60s music. Yeah. You say you write some stuff yourself, and I know you have a room, a secret room in your house that you... I have yeah. that secret yeah. room, yes. Is there where your dreams come out? That's where, that's where I hope the dream of a number one hit comes from. Yeah. Well, I, I write songs down there. Um, alone and with Tony Burton, who's been writing for Rida Larson for 10 years or so. He's been quite successful with that, and uh, we're still writing together, and I am writing some songs alone as well. So, uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's one who was uh, very well known is uh, that one about your family. Yes, the family song is uh, its a very popular song. People like that uh, here in Norway. It's a very family kind of place, Norway. I think that's why I like it here. Mm. And it means a lot for you too? Oh, it means a great deal mm -hmm. for me. Uh, it was, I wrote that song many years ago when I, was, when I first was homesick and I was missing my dear old mum. Mm -hmm. And I but, still miss her. Yeah. Yeah. But Neil, um, everyone, uh, every musician has their own secret dreams. What's yours? To give out a CD with all your own stuff? Well, we're going to have a CD out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to have a CD out this, this year, uh, around June, July. Uh, that has been a dream for a long time, but now it's becoming reality soon. Uh, I think my dream is to have a pink Cadillac, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that like, I've been dreamt before. <laughs> like Elvis, you mm -hmm. know, like Elvis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, something else, Neil. You uh, was on the Lindos, yes, uh, last year, and uh, you met someone there who was the big star, Stephen Ackles. But you stole the show from him. Well, Stephen has been—he's uh, not been around as long as me, Stephen. 
but he's a very talented boy. He's, he's got a very, very nice voice. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think he has to leave the piano playing to me. Mm -hmm. Are you going back this year? Uh, yes, uh, I'm going back this year. I'm doing my solo show. And uh, I'm going to be uh, top of the bill, I think. <laughs> top of the bill. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, by myself, doing my solo show. But won't you get tired of uh, touring like this? No, I'll <laughs> never get tired. Just like Peter Pan, I'll never get old. Mm -hmm. No. You like to um, really enjoying playing on pubs and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy playing more concerts now than the, the, than the pubs. Mm -hmm. But uh, the piano bars and things were very good fun. Mm -hmm. Met a lot of people, learned what people really like, uh, apart from alcohol. You know, uh, the kind of music that people like. And they do like the music that I write and the songs that I play. So that makes me happy. Yeah. And Neil, um, something I uh, told uh, we was uh, from the start, you had a mouth organ that you learned to play on when you were three. Do you still got that one in your pocket? I've got it somewhere. Well, this one. Right there. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Can you play something for us? Th this is not a very old one, so but it's not a very new one either. It's mm -hmm. kind of an in-between thing. But <laughs> but there's lots of different ways to play an harmonica. You can play it cross harp, which means you play the blues on it, or you can play it straight harp. And I learned from my father the uh, straight harp technique which is playing tunes, actually playing a tune on this thing, like... Uh... There's that way of playing it. <laughs> and there's the blues way of playing it, which is more of a... different technique of playing but yeah I'd been playing this for a long long time. Uh -huh, you managed it all. <laughs> yeah I play piano, guitar, harmonica, those are my main instruments. But now Neil we have to uh, get into the new show you're presenting those days. The Needle Wild Experience. Tell That's us the about one. it. <laughs> yes well it's just experience for not only the ladies but for everyone because uh, apart from my own songs I'm doing uh, a lot of different things and doing a show with, uh, with the cl nice clothes and uh, basically imitations of the great, greatest stars of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, Little Richard is one of, my, one of my great heroes in life. Uh, Elvis is another great hero of mine. Chuck Berry and... Uh, all the legends of rock and roll uh, who, who made the music uh, what it is today, really, through, uh, through the Beatles and up through the, through, through the 70s and through the 80s. So, uh, because this is my tribute, really, to, to the people that I love mm -hmm. and to the music that I love. The old heroes. That's right. The mm -hmm. And where can people see this show? People can see the show anywhere where they see my name, Neil Wilde, and they can come and see that show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What's the further plans? Further plans is to to do 10 TV shows and no uh, other <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, millions and everything. No, I'm not too bothered about earning millions. As long as I can make a living doing what I enjoy doing, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. As long as I don't have to work in a factory from 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night, or push a pen in an office, then I'm a happy man if I can do what I enjoy doing and, and make a living. OK, Neil. Uh, good luck to you and your shows and for the summer and many, many years. Thank and, you uh, very much. Thanks for coming. You've got tickets to the next show. Thanks. <laughs>
Og det har helt sikkert dere også. Dere kan altså få møte denne personen igjen når han spiller rundt forbi og presenterer sitt nye show, The Neil Wilde Experience. Ha en riktig god kveld. This one dedicated to my friends. What would you do if I sang in a tune? Would you sing? I'll get my breath one day. Let me over you and I'll sing you a song. And I'll try not to sing out of key. Oh, I'll get by with a little help from my friends. Well, they are folks. I guess I'm gonna get high tonight with a little help from my friends. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. What do you do when your love is away? Be sad and cold from me. Tell me you know what I'm talking about. I'll try my best if you agree. I'm gonna hear my with a little help from my friends. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Oh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. If you need anybody, oh, I want somebody to love. Could it be anybody? I want somebody to love. Do you believe in love at first sight? I guess it happens all the time. I don't know. But I'm telling you now, I love it. Yes, I found mine. I'm gonna get by with a little help from my friends. I'm gonna get high with a little help from my friends. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. If you need anybody, I want somebody to love. I care that be. Anybody? Oh, I want somebody to love. I said I want somebody to love. I said I need somebody to love. I want somebody to love. I want somebody. I want somebody to. Everybody got a lot of fun, oh baby. Yeah, baby. Woo, baby. I'm having some fun tonight. Well, the long tall sailor, she's real straight to get out of everything that Uncle John needs, oh baby. With bow head set, so I remember coming and he got back in the alley, oh baby. She's not tall, nobody cares whether she's not a tall old baby. Thank you very much. Catch you later. Tis and tack. Thank you. Well, you know, yes, last week, last 
week, Chuck Berry was in the studio with me. We flew him all the way from the United States of America. Just play it down every year, Mama. 